Hello everyone, this is going to be a mid-month general reading for the sign of Pisces. So let's see, uh, what situation is going to be prominent for Pisces from now until the end of the month of February? Please tell me about Pisces. Give me four cards for Pisces. Uh, the situation, their challenge, their advice and their outcome. Pisces, from now until the end of February, four cards, the situation, the challenge, the advice, and the outcome for Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, you need to be really proactive, okay, um, this month, the, the rest of this month. Look, the situation here shows up as the Knight of Swords. Now, this could be an actual person that shows up in, uh, in, um, in your life this month, or it could simply be an energy of, you know, someone of very high energy, um, someone who is a go-getter, someone that um, uh, pursues their goals and doesn't stop. And I'm under the impression that it's more of an energy here that you have to take on rather than a person because your challenge uh, shows up as the Four of Swords, um, which is a card of stagnation. It's a card that's opposite to this one. So basically, your challenge is going to be to get yourself in the disposition to you know, go after what it is that you want. You know, it's uh, it's easier to not do something rather than to do something. You know, it's easier to be lazy than to be proactive. And I know that it's, and you're going to fight uh, against this um, desire to, you know, take it slow this month. No, you, you have to, this is not a month for you to take it slow. This is a month where you have to pursue your goals. Um, your advice here is the Empress, which is a very interesting uh, card. If you're a, a male uh, Pisces, it could be your love interest and your advice, you know, it's is to move your ass and pursue this woman is basically what the cards are saying. Now, if you are a female Pisces, um, it could, uh, this card could um, show an energy that, again, you have to take on uh, this month, meaning you have to find your mojo, you have to get your mojo back, you have to get yourself into the disposition of being sexy, being attractive, being creative, uh, being all uh, your best self, you have to be your best self uh, this month in order, you know, you have to leave behind this feeling of stagnation and laziness and Put yourself uh, into your best mood uh, and your best state so that you can have the drive and the energy to pursue your goals. And if you do that, look at what uh, your outcome is, the, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. It's a solid, stable, brand new beginning, quite possibly monetary. You know, you could make some money. It's possible that your goal is some sort of financial goal, you know, earning more money, changing your jobs, starting a new business, something like that. Um, if you're going to, to, to do uh, this, things will work out well for you and you're going to have a brand new beginning that you probably want. Okay, let's find out more. Let's clarify. Why is the situation the Knight of Swords for Pisces in the month of February, the rest of the month? Why is the situation the Knight of Swords for Pisces? There? Okay, so you wanted to jump out and there was a card here that I wanted to flip. Okay, it was this one. Uh, all right, so the situation here is definitely... A, 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 a lot of action you know these people in your life they could these court cards could actually be real people if you are a female pisces this could be your love interest if you're a male pisces this queen of wands is probably your love interest uh, and also the empress you know it's the same person um, that shows up twice now in any case um regardless of your gender and regardless who these people are one thing i can tell you for sure is that this is not a month as i said to be lazy and stagnant no these all these three cards are cards of very high energy brand new beginnings starting something new taking the bulls by the horns and going after what it is that you want so you can have a brand new beginning and see you've got an ace here an ace here this is a month that's going to be you know um 
a turning point in your life. Think, doors are opening for you, but you, you have to take the initiative to actually go through those doors, Pisces. Okay? All right. Let's see. What's, what's the challenge here? Why is the Four of Swords the challenge for Pisces this month? Yes. Look at that. What I exactly what I told you earlier. You have to overcome this feeling of laziness and apathy. This is what I see here. This is a card of someone standing still, you know, being lazy on their bed. This is a card of someone being, um, you know, having apathy, uh, not being in the mood, you know, that kind of disposition where like, you're, I'm not in the mood to do this, neither that, neither this. I'd rather just, yeah, no, you have to overcome this. It's going to be, and it's going to be a challenge uh, for you uh, to overcome this this month uh, because, uh, you know, maybe you're going to say, hey, but I'm not normally like that. I'm not a lazy person. Well, it could be that this month you're going to have like some sort of lazy streak, <laughs> you know, <laughs> some sort of, you know, desire to just take it slow. Don't. Okay. You have to overcome this. All right. Let's see the Empress. Why is the Empress the advice for Pisces? Why is the Empress the advice for Pisces? Okay, so um, mm, this Empress, this could actually be another person in your life. Um, I've, I've, I've already got so many court cards here, you know, uh, four. Uh, so... Mm, uh, it could represent you, it could represent an energy. It's possible that um, this month you're going to have to turn. She she comes up as your advice, both the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, you're going to have to turn to some uh, external help, some external person that's going to be of help to you. And uh, this person is going to help you carry the heavy burden you know whatever burden it is it could be a burden regarding to what you're starting new here because you see you've got ones here ones there uh if you've got goals if you've got plans if you've got dreams that you want to to do uh it's not a month when you should do it yourself you know take on everything yourself you've got so many people here turn to them pisces turn to them for for help uh Turn to anyone for help, just as long as you get the ball rolling, you know, and uh, and and you you work towards um, achieving what it is that you want. Okay, so that's your advice. Let's see the outcome. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in the outcome for Pisces? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the outcome for Pisces in February? Okay, so uh, Pisces, you've got, um, uh, as I said earlier, a brand new beginning could possibly be, uh, you know, making more money, is changing jobs, something like that. But I, I want you to know that it's not going to be a lot because um, it is a card of starting something new. And, you know, usually when you start a business, you start a new job. It's not well paid in the beginning. That's what you should expect now. Don't expect a windfall of money. Uh, on the contrary, you're still going to have to, you know, uh, calculate your budget and possibly realize that you don't really have enough to pay for everything you want uh, on the financial front, basically, this month. Uh, don't expect uh very high luck or your destiny changing and you're going to become rich overnight or anything like that no no uh regardless as i said earlier the uh, this uh, second half of february is definitely a time for you to get the ball rolling and uh pursue pursue what it is that you want and uh i look for help ask your friends ask your your family to help you and uh, go after, go after what it is that you want. It's not going to start uh, very well. It's not going to pay off very soon. You're not going to see the fruits of your labor, labor very soon, but you are going to get it started. So that's still very good, okay? So that was your reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some uh, guidance. I wish you uh, good luck with your situation. 
and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye for now.